If you are out there saying things like, I could have done that, but I didn't want to. You need to stop that because that is damaging your potential and your future. See, there are three different ways on why that phrase or a phrase just like that can damage your potential and your future and, and leave you stuck where you currently are instead of moving forward towards your goals. Now, these three things have everything to do with you and really nothing to do with anybody else. The first thing I think about when people tell me this phrase or I hear it out loud in a conversational setting is, number one, you don't have clearly defined goals. And if we dig even further, if I had a conversation with you and or you're one of my coaching clients, I dig even deeper into what that actually means. And you might not have a really clear vision of what you want for your future. And the reason why that's so significant and why you really need to focus on that and make sure that you have a clear future and a clear pathway is that you're not putting your energy into areas that don't bring things back into you. That, that's people, that's places, that's environments, that career. It's all these different things, the seven well-beings that I talk about in my book, The Right Tool, Right Situation. If you're not putting your energy in the right things, then you're going to be going in a completely different direction, which is going to feel awkward to you. It's going to feel like you are lost. And that's the feelings we want to dissuade you from going into. So when you say things like, I could have done that, but I didn't want to, you know, it's like, I, I said that in my past too. I could have dunked the ball in basketball, but I didn't want to. And that really wasn't the case. And it usually isn't the case when we're talking about it. I didn't want to do the work. It's not that I didn't want to dunk the basketball. See, I took inventory of the work that was needed to be done in the future to be able to dunk the basketball. And I knew I didn't want to put my energy into that. Yet in my mind, I had no clue verbally what that meant. So when I'm sitting there and saying, I could have dunked the basketball, but I didn't want to, that is telling the world that I had no clue what I was doing. I had no idea of my goals. I really didn't know what dreams I had out there and where I wanted myself to go in the future. So number one, the reason why that statement hinders you and takes you away from future growth is you don't have clearly defined goals. You don't have a clearly defined vision. Now, the second reason and why this is so vital of a phrase not to say is that because you're not taking responsibility. Now, I know you're probably sitting there thinking, well, these are just words, John. Okay, it's just words, but it's the emotions you put behind it. When you say a phrase like, I could have done this, but I didn't want to, you're passive aggressively pushing that off to the side and not making much of it. We need to have direct contact with what we're doing. We need to be direct in our situations, in our actions, in our goals, our desires, and our focus. So just like with our goals, clarity of focus, we need clarity on our responsibility. So with you saying passive-aggressively that you didn't want to do it, you're not taking accountability or responsibility for what your actions are doing. Take the responsibility. You didn't want to do it because you didn't want to do it. You didn't want to do it because you were lazy. You didn't want to do it because your parents told you that wasn't something that you should be doing and you listened to them. So the end part is you listen to them. Take responsibility. It's all about choices. You can choose to take that responsibility, which that brings power back into your life, or you can choose to pass off that responsibility onto somebody else or something else to where that's saying, you are in control of my life. You make the decisions for me. I'll sit here and wait for whatever happens. No, take responsibility. And number three, saying phrases like, I could have done that, but I don't want to, that leaves you stuck in the past. And now we all know that where your attention goes, energy flows. So if your mind is in the past, if your words are in the past, that's where your energy is going to be. We want to bring our energy either into the present or into the future. Now, we can think about the past. We can make decisions based on the past, but we do not want to live in the past. We want to be mindful, live in the present moment, but we also want to plan for the future. So we got to collect all this information, all this data around us, our life, society, all the seven well-beings. We want to be able to collect this data and be able to analyze it very quickly so that we can make 
better decisions for our future. So when we use phrases, when we use words that keeps us in the past, that keeps our minds, our energies in the past, phrases like, I could have done that, but I didn't want to. We need to change the words. We must change those words. So whether you're talking to somebody, you're having a conversation about goals, where you want your life to go, maybe you're in a romantic relationship and you're talking about where you see yourself in a year or five years or how your past went. Instead of using, oh, I could have done that. I could have went to school, but I didn't want to. I could have had that job, but I didn't want to. I could have made so much money, but I didn't want to. Get yourself out of the past. Reframe the words, reframe the thoughts to where you can put it into a present conversation or a future conversation to where you can see yourself as being the person that you want to be. So recapping again, those three things with saying phrases, I don't want to do that because... Or that's not what I wanted to do because the three things that hinder us and degrade our future growth is because we don't have accurate goals or clarity of focus. We're not taking responsibility for our actions or inactions, our choices or non-choices, and we are living in the past. Get out of the past, live in the present, live in the future. Now, it took me a while to learn this. It took me combing through many different information, many different books, speakers, uh, personal development type of people. If you're not sure where to start, if you know that you're living in the past, or if you hear yourself saying terms and phrases like that, and you want to stop that, I highly encourage you to click the link in my bio and start a free conversation with me. Absolutely free, zero strings attached. And let's see what we can do to get you on the right path moving forward to be able to create a happier, healthier, more joy-filled future. However, if you're not too sure about a conversation with me just yet, you don't have the right feeling, you don't know too much about me, you want to get to know more, I highly recommend that you then go check on my Red membership, go check on my website, thechangeoperative.com. Go sign up and subscribe to the Red membership, which is daily transformational videos that are posted in the Red membership, like I said, daily, that can help you in terms of trauma, your limiting beliefs, creating a better future self, creating better plans and goals, personal development, and so much more. I want to thank you so much for joining me in this conversation today. I hope I gave you some value you can use in your life, and I hope to see you soon.